Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. Okay, so today we're going to install server roles. So we have started on our sysadmin course and uh, the first video actually was to install the VMware workstation. Okay, the hypervisor that we're going to use uh, to do the simulation, which is a VMware Workstation Pro 17, version 17, okay? Then the second video was to install Windows Server, Windows Server Virtual Machine, which you can see here. The third video was actually to, was to install Windows 10 Virtual Machine, because this is a sysadmin task. We need to uh, provision server and the client to enable us to do proper simulation, okay? All right, so today we're going to install what's called uh, ADDS, Active Directory Domain Services, which actually entails um, our domain controller. And also we're going to do the DNS, okay? All right, so uh, how do we install server roles? You can install server roles by clicking on Manage and Add Feature and Roles. That's the first, uh, actually, the first method. The second method, you can come to uh, all servers. Then you right click this one and add roles and features. Okay. So, whichever we can do, let's just click on this and uh, click next. Then you will do role based or feature based installation. All right. Okay, leave, the way it is, leave them by default, let's click next. And we're going to install what's called Active Directory Domain Service. When you click on NDDS, it will prompt you that it will hide all of this. this remember, this is our, uh, actually our uh, directory service, okay? So we just add features, okay? All right, so it's ticked, okay? All right, so just click next. Okay, just click. Remember, we chose ADDS. We're going to install this feature, which is our directory service, okay? Okay, all right. So, Active Directory will be here. Automatically restart, okay? So, restart the destination server automatically if required, okay? Suppose uh, this feature that we're going to install requires a restart, then it should be automatic, right? Then install. Give it a few minutes to complete. And you just close, okay? After the installation, just close, okay? All right. So after you've installed, remember, we've installed LEDs, Active Directory Domain Service, which actually are the domain controller that we're going to use uh, uh, to actually do the simulation, okay? Active Directory cannot work with the uh, ADDS not installed, okay? It should be installed, right? Okay, so after you installed ADDS, you see, it's asking you to configure the required, um, required for ADDS at this machine. So what do you do? Or you just see at this uh, this flag area, okay? Just click and you see, post the post deployment configuration, promote this server. Let's click promote that server, okay? So what we're going to do here is to actually install DNS, okay? We're going to install a DNS, okay? So um, add a domain contract existing domain. We don't have ex 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 existing domain. We're going to create a new domain. So we're just going to add a new forest. I'll make it uh, GTEx. Detect dot uh, test. Yep. Then um, okay. So here you can actually uh, indicate any password uh, for your uh, DS uh, restore mode. You can choose a pro uh, maybe a personal password that you will remember. Whenever it's required, you can actually use it later. Yeah. Okay. So I'm using mine right. 
and we click next yeah so let's just wait it and uh, click next again actually uh, then let's uh, wait for the uh, NetBIOS domain name to be displayed as uh, the GTEx one that we just configured. Yeah. Okay, so you see it's GTEx, although it was, uh, we, we missed it uh, a little bit, it should be GTEx, but uh, we, we, we wrote it to GTEx. No problem. Just click next again. Yeah, so we are close to actually finishing. Oops, we got an hair right here. Yeah, so this hair is actually for our privileges. We don't have admin privileges to um, run this. You see, actually, we will not set a password to our admin admin um, account, admin state account. We're using a GTEC account that we created but we've not set any password to GTEC admin. So it's very, very important that we um, set password to the original or the root administrator account, okay? All right, so maybe let's just do that very, very fast. Then we do this again, yeah. We go to computer management, computer management, at users, send groups. So as you as you saw here, that the problem was uh, was due to administrator password being blank. Okay, so we need to solve that. So the first thing we're not when we're going to actually uh, go to property first account. Yes, account is uh, actually active. It's not disabled. We need to go to set passwords. We need to set password first for admin. Uh, for this, I'll just set a very normal password. Maybe, um, okay, then you save. We have actually set admin password. And also these are the account that actually we've logged in using, using that account, okay? So we need to also, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, we need also to set password to this account, okay? okay? Because it was blank. Ensure that uh, the admin account has a password and also the account that you're using, okay? All right, so I'll do it very, very fast this time. Okay, so that's done. I've set password to admin, which is the most, actually, uh, the prerequisite. And also uh, my account, my my account, my the user here, okay? Right, so let's go back and see if the error persists. If it persists, then we need to restart the machine. So let's just go back and try to go next. So let's see. Yep. So the error is the, the, the error is gone. So you see all prerequisite che checks passed successful. Okay. So you just need to when you receive that actually uh, the the authorization error, you just need to set a password to your admin account. Okay. And also the account uh, the password to the account you are using. Right. Okay. Just see. Install. So we're installing DNS. All right. Okay. You need to restart. Okay. So just close. Close this one and it will restart. So let's just give it some time so that you can see our um, role uh, installed successfully. Okay, so here we are. So let's just uh, see the roles that you just installed. We've, uh, we did uh, DSC, I mean, ADDS, Active Directory Domain Service, and DNS. So if you go to DNS, you can see, uh, if you just click on, you right click, and go to DNS Manager, okay? You will see our domain is here, GTEC. Oh, we, we, we gave it detect instead of GTH. Okay, no problem. All right, thank you so much. Please subscribe to this channel. Let this video share with friends. And let's meet in the next video. Bye.